Basic front. Cheerio! Quinn, yay! How are you? Good. Good? Yep. I'm so glad. Okay. Here we go. You're going to do a final countdown version, okay? We're going to do sky jumps, which is the 15. Second round is 10. Third round is 5. Second thing you're going to do is, oh my god, I forgot, push-ups. 15, 15, 10, and 5. Third thing you're going to do is swimmers. Now, Robin and I have this argument about what swimmers are, okay? But for today, they're going to be, okay. Fifteen, ten, five. Okay. Go. Landon, do you have a um no. Oh exciting? I miss all the ladies. I know. So sad. So, Landon, do you have a, um, like a goal board in your room or in the back or anything? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go home and I want you to get a sheet of paper and I want you to decorate it like powerfully. Anything that inspires you, colors, images, mm -hmm. and I want you to write on there. I will be a black belt. Mm -hmm. I will break my board. Got it. I will have control. Whatever the things are that you want to work on, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to write it on there, and I want you to look at it every night before you go to bed. Read it out loud. And every morning when you get up, okay. okay? Goals become more real if we verbalize them, and if we display them, communicate them to the world, okay? Oftentimes I'll share my goals like that with my family too, so that they know what I'm working towards because sometimes having help makes a big difference, right? So, Landon, I want to go back to, I'd like you to, to wear your hand gear next week mm -hmm. because we're going to get through your fear a little bit. We'll work our way up to no hand gear. Mm -hmm. I want the muscle memory of that power to be there mm -hmm. before you take it off again. Mm -hmm. Okay? I have zero doubt that you can break your boards. But what I think doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> I will say, I'll be there with you. I'll be testing too. So is Miss Jessie. What, which one is Miss Jessie? Third. She has a finger third. I'm testing for second. I just realized I have to come up with a belt. <laughs> All right, grab your combat weapon. All right, let's warm up. Rainbows. <laughs> Are you going to second arm? Are you going to like echo me? I was going to say second chorus, but that made no sense. Good, go forward. Just the wrist, not the elbow. Warming up your wrist first. Good, switch sides. If your wrist gets strong, you'll be faster in combat sparring. I just did a video and I'm gonna to post tomorrow of all the techniques. Oh, cool. Forward. Um, 
the techniques you need to know for green stripe, for yellow stripe, and a form technique that I want everybody to work okay. on. And um, yellow stripe is going to be uh, sparring. Sparring, sparring. Yep. Yeah. So swimmer. This is what I call a swimmer. <laughs> it's a stretch. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to start calling this the Michael Phelps so that Romy can have swimmers. <laughs> what does the he way, do? The one, the kicks I just showed you. Oh, so he calls that swimmer? Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Good. Now go up. I just got this shirt. It's super uncomfortable. Okay, so we're going to warm up just a couple of minutes with our hand eye coordination drill. Try not to stab yourself in the side with your combat weapon like I just did. I just keep hanging myself, like stabbing myself in the leg. Good. Okay. Step back, sparring stance. Now, the three strikes that you have to know for your green strike are tiger, focusing on pulling that arm behind you, V-stepping, because you're stepping in a V-formation every time, diagonal steps, and your hand will alternate, up, down, up, down, yes, okay? So it's gonna be left leg, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna switch. Okay, because you're left-handed. So right leg, the wrist is up, striking. Left leg, the wrist is down, striking. Right leg, the wrist is up, good. Hi. Hello. How are you? Thanks. Combat weapon, ma'am. Give me 20 jumping jacks, 20 squats, and 20 push-ups. Yeah. 10 times on both sides, Miss Edder. Hello, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Very well. Jack squats and push ups. Sorry. Don't know if you heard. I have had no one challenge me on flips. <laughs> Two weeks now, I've challenged students to do flips and see who can beat me. And no What's one has. Record? It's very sad. What's your record? 30. <laughs> All right. Now, are you done? One side. Keep going. I was even doing it with my left the other day to see who could beat me in class, and they couldn't. It just shows nobody practices like me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Of course, if I had to do it with a different weapon, I probably couldn't. I'm so balanced with this weapon. Uh, yeah, I think if I... I'll have to oh! This one's harder, because I've done landed. This one's harder. He has one like that. Is that one um, the... This is adult size, that's a kid's size. The adult is easier than the kids. Is it? Okay. Yes. The balance is better. Okay, cool. And I had some people doing this way, and I was like, no, that does not count. Okay, okay. <laughs> Full flip. Oh. All right, you ready? All right. Golden Rooster offensive and defensive. What I want you to focus on for your Golden Rooster, the offensive... You just want to make sure your weapon is in front, that it doesn't pull back when you strike. We're going through all three strikes for your green strike. They are tiger, golden rooster, and prairie dog, okay? So I want each one of you to do three tigers. Pop, pop, pop. Focus on the wrist up and then the wrist down. Yes. So as you step, you're going to drag the weapon behind you to kick to the side. Do five on each side. Go. Um, Golden Rooster. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until they catch up. Okay. While you're waiting. Okay. Squats back and forth. My right knee is killing me. Killing me, sir. That's why when you're you're having a chamber, I'm like, come on, you don't have anything wrong with your knees. You, you haven't had do seven this. knee surgeries. <laughs> I have. Good. Now, Miss Morrissey, each step 
has a strike. Okay, so it's not like scooting forward. No, you're gonna actually step right diagonal. Here, left. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. And I want you to think about it like this is the whirly dervish move. It should be very fast. When you do this in your sparring, it should be. It's a very fast, very bold attack. You'll be fine, Maham. Come on. Even there. You're just getting really close to my nose. Yeah. Come on, woman up there, Maham. Woman up. You're getting ready to test, aren't you? So come on. Now, out there in web land, if you can beat my score, which is 30 tosses and catches without dropping, and we're fumbling. I'll give you five life skill strikes. I post this to the juniors too. Yeah. <laughs> High ranks. Oh, this is even better. Alternating. Oh! You can stop squatting. That's ridiculous. Are you all done with five? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, let's go to Golden Rooster. All right, step back. Oh, yeah. Now, with Golden Rooster, I want your focus to be the weapon leads. Okay, don't pull it back. So it's, oh, yeah. Now, depending on what your opponent is doing, you might go in with a one strike, you might go in with a two strike, you might go in with an eight. I don't care which. You adjust based on your opponent. Defensively, though, it is a replacement step. So your front foot is going to replace your back foot after the jump, okay? That's an important part of the defensive golden rooster. Oh yeah! I want five offensive and five defensive on both sides. Ready, go. Good. I want you to think about your hips as the rotation point for your jump back. So watch my hips. My hips stay in the same spot and my, my body rotates around my hips. Watch me again. The reason why is it's a defensive move, but I still want to attack. It's a counter. Yeah. So if someone's coming for my feet, I don't want to necessarily jump back like this because then I might be out of their reach. Yeah. I want to jump, replace yeah. step. Yeah. But your, for, your upper body goes forward. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So if I'm coming at you like this, so that's the move. Yeah. So I can't hit you, but you can hit me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Much better. Five on both sides. Why is my clock gone? <laughs> I need it. All right, let's go. Palm down, tapping forward. Pop, 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 pop. Not up and down, just straight forward and back. Switch sides. Not up and down, Miss Warsi. Forward and back. Sorry. <laughs> Careful. Good. Now, palm up. Same thing. This one should be hard. Not for you. This is easier. Well, you're ridiculous. This is hard. This one is easier. This is so hard. Switch sides. 
<laughs> this one is easy, but the other one is not for me. Yeah, I find that when I go to my non-dominant hand, I do it circles. Yes, me too. Okay. Me too. See this? Yeah. <laughs> I have to fight it real hard. Yeah. What I have to do is I have to open my hand a little bit and let it pop in my hand. See the I'm, difference? Oh, yeah. It's kind of like you're shaking a, one of those squeaky toys. Yeah. You know? What is that that infomercial like upper ab you know we're shaking it? <laughs> Alright, now let's talk about prairie dog. Think about what a prairie dog does. They come out of their hole, they look around, and then they pop up. Alright, same principle. This is the one where you're gonna be checking. You're checking your opponent the whole time. When you find that opening, yeah, straight stab to the chest. It's very important that you strike from the chest down. You cannot stab to the neck. You cannot stab to the face. That's illegal. You will be disqualified. All right, so you're testing. Miss Erica, you come closer. The reason why we test, hey I'm fainting every time I check her weapon. And that's why we do these. I wanna like, I wanna fake her out. I want her to not expect it. This is also an excellent move for any time your opponent rears back. So if she were to rear back to do something, rear back, just like pull your weapon back. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you train with speed, you'll be ready for those opportunities. Okay? Let's give Miss Edward a little call. Okay. I want you to practice as if you're shadow boxing someone. So step back. On your toes. Yeah. Seven times each side. Go. Yeah. Good. What's your other hand doing? <laughs> now keep your other hand by your face because blocking with that hand will give you one point instead of two to the head. Miss Worsey, hand up. Yes. Okay. I need to know as soon as possible what you want for this belt. Okay. What? What is the? I'll talk to you later. So you need to put some thought into that, Landon. Okay. It's a big decision. Now, remember, you will have another belt, so you have you have more chances. But it's your first one, so it's super important, right? Simbo's kid said they only wanted to have their first name, and he was like, what? <laughs> they have cool first names, though. They have such cool first names. And I was like, I think that would be really cool if all three of you had a Muzo on your mouth, and that's it. And then nothing else on your mouth. Yeah. Right? Less talking, more sparring. Come on. You all are being silly. Now, it's important when you do this move, if you have the action flex, can you come in the screen? If you have the action flex weapon like Miss Edder, that it bends at the end. It has to make that bend. This one won't do it. No. But the blue weapon has to bend for you to get the point. They will not award it without it, okay? For them to award it means that the other person was basically standing there like this, okay? <laughs> All right. A couple of times when Mohammed and I were like sparring, I got her in the stomach. But then she was on the side and I sort of got her like yeah, right here. Her. Is that all right or no? That's fine. As long as you make contact and she doesn't try to step to evade or block. Okay. Anywhere that she has pat, oh no, in contact, in co uh, combat sparring, anywhere is open game except for the face to stab. So if you stab her in the side or if you stab her and go like this, it depends on the strength of the hit. If you go just like this, it's not going to count. But if you go like that, it'll count. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Finish up and put your weapons away. Go back, 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 back. I, I'm so thirsty today. Yeah. Like, it's bad. I've already drank two kombuchas. Well, I was sitting in here and just the is dry, and I know it's human, so it's probably not dry in here. So, masks and everything, I don't know. It's good to try it. No, it's good to me too. Yeah. 
Watch himself in the mirror okay. like most kids do. Like Danielle is like, <laughs> yes. you know. Okay, we're gonna work on form, and I want to work on something specific. Okay. Okay. I want you to find. You're gonna step on a line. I want you to find a line in your house, or you know, somewhere where you can kind of see where your feet are. You're going to step from a middle stance into a back stance. And as you go, you're gonna knife hand. Maha, you will advance, knife hand, block back, okay? Then you're gonna reset into your middle stance. And then you're going to step back again into the other side. Now, there's two things I want you to work on. You chamber with the foot that's going back, okay? That's the first thing. If your right foot is stepping back, you chamber to the right and you pull back, okay? Second thing is hand positioning. Maham, this is especially important for you. When you do your double knife hand block, your forearms should be parallel. A lot of times it's like this. Has to be here. Adjust your hands. So, everybody go into a double outer form, a double knife hand block. Your front hand, you should be looking at your fingernails. Now, adjust your back hand at the elbow until it's parallel. Now close your hands. This is double outer forearm block. Turn 90 degrees. What's this? Hammer, it's double downward hammer. Make a knife. What's this? Double four or double knife hand block. Nope. Knife hand block is here. This. Oh, here. This is double downward knife hand strike. Okay. Now rotate it again. This is ridge hand. Double ridge hand block. Okay. Close it. Inner forearm block. Now go down. Same thing. Double knife hand low, close it, double low block, right? Okay, so I need you to work on that parallelism. These are all the same forearm movements. The only thing that changes is your hand placement for every single one of those techniques, okay? So we're working on both of those here. So I wanna see you in a good middle stance, chamber, back, and really put the weight on the back foot with the double knife hand block. Then you're gonna step up, chamber, back. Really adjust, look at your hands and adjust them to what they need to be. I want you to do 20 each side because I need that muscle memory to be fixed. Practice makes permanent. Okay, ready? Oh, I can't hear any of you. Go! Good, now, I want your front, so you could go here or here, right? And I'm still looking at my fingernails? Right. I want you to be as close to 90 degrees as possible. Okay. okay. Good, Miss Warsey, your back arm needs to be bent a little bit more. Okay. Bent. Yes, good, that's it. Good. Now for us ladies, we're gonna be more here, you know, than, yeah. we, than we were here. It's gonna be more like a seatbelt than before, okay? Um, all right. Better joint positioning on your wrist, nice <laughs> job. <laughs> Try. <laughs> now watch your feet, yes. The more muscle memory you have stepping back correctly, uh -huh. 
the better. See that? I, I can now go to the point where it's just boom. Yeah. But you know how long it took me to get there? It took me a solid six months of doing nothing but that. <laughs> well, I feel better at it already. I don't think I'm there yet, but I definitely, in the, in the past, was sort of like, it was always like that, you know? Right. And now, when you when I go into my back stands, I feel super based. Yeah. I feel super, super strong yeah. and confident, and like a rock. Good. Now, Miss Worsey, when you put your hands back, I want you to let them pull you. Yes. Because this is what you were doing before. You were going. And I want your hands to pull you around. Pop. Okay. Much better hand placement. Good job. In your mask. It's really a bad choice. <laughs> I didn't think about this beforehand. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy cow. Good. Better. That was better. Ah. <sighs> nice. And we're almost. We're almost stepping and setting up at the same time. Yes, your foot should land right when your block hits. Pop. So everything, when I land my foot down, my, my block is there. That's an excellent point, Ms. Worsey, because we want the timing of this to be accurate. That plays into every single form. Good, that was better. I want you to widen your middle stance just a smidge because your okay. back stance is bigger than your than your middle right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm stepping out a little bit when I do that. No, you're fine. Oh, okay. it doesn't matter how wide you are or not. It, okay. What matters with your back stance is that you are not. This foot is here. This foot cannot go this way. Right. It has to be here right. or, or wider. Okay. You'll notice that some of the masters are like it's a middle stance except they've turned their foot yeah that's more mine okay i go back a little bit further than okay. that mine's a little bit more narrow but i can easily go straight into middle straight into front right straight into you know okay. my feet just turn because the, the width of that stance is the same yep when you're done you're gonna do swing kicks, trying to balance on one foot. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> I want you to do 10 to the front, and then you're gonna do 10 to the side, crossing in front. Yes, ma'am. It's when you're doing this, your right hand, your fingers are sort of like a Angled straight, right? Like they're this way, your hand. So if you look if you look at my arm, my forearm, the top is where the line is, not the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be here. This is the line, the top of your hand. Exactly. So you just want to move that to here. See that? Like this is a little like looking like it's going. No. 40, oh, roughly 45 degree angle. I mean, I'm okay, sorry, yeah. roughly 90 degree angle. <laughs> okay. Math. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I know it's not this. So you could. In, well, like this. Exactly. Like this. And in theory, you could go like this and see how my fingernails are still in my eye level. Mm -hmm. But I want my elbow to be roughly 90 degrees. I don't want to be out there and I don't want to be right here. Right there. Right. Basically, you're trying to block this. Correct. This is doing the work. Okay. No matter which way you're going. Yes, if Maha were to come at me now, I should be able to block her here. Correct. Got it. You have to be out far enough that you block a hook, but not so far out that they can hook around on top of you. They got it. And this is a seat. <laughs> Swings are not control. They're more like, just let it go. This is dynamic stretching. Yeah. 
definitely easier with my left foot. Sorry, I said that. Oh, I'm sure. And then, did you say side to side also? Yes. Okay. I probably didn't do it high enough on my foot. So. Side to side, yeah. passes in front. Your swinging leg passes in front, not okay. behind. Okay. That's going to hurt your knee. Ow. Oh. My right hip is like super hurting. Owie. It's like 800 degrees in here. Did you say it's cold? Mm -hmm. So you sweat it and now you're cooling down. Landon, crack that door and then hot air will blow on you. I am unwilling to turn the hair air up. <laughs> you can only do so much anyway, even if you do it. Good. Good, Miss Warsey. Oh, for the chicks around the world, can I send that to you through Facebook? Or the yes, please do. Please post it on Facebook. Did you do one in California? No, I did one in Estonia. I have one from last year. When I went for my children, I did one there. I had everyone see me. I did my grandma's weirdo. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. Okay. I feel like I've gotten a little stronger. You're a lot stronger than you okay. were, for sure. All right. We're gonna do, we're gonna start the second half of the form. Now, Ms. Worsey, I want you to do it straight towards the camera, okay? All right? So, okay. it, you're gonna come from a back stance square block, okay? Square block is an outer forearm for the front arm and a high block for the back arm, okay? We're gonna go from here, from here. Yeah, okay. Good. Outer form? Yep. Now, you are turning your hips a little too much okay. this way. 45 degree angle for your back stance. Your okay. hips are at a 45. Your front foot will point towards the bathrooms. That way, it allows you to really get that shoulder up in the back without being like this. So you tend to go here. I want you here. Yeah. Better. Square block. Now, Miss Warsey, you're going to take the back foot and you're going to go front kick, side kick, put it down in the back. Good. Now, when you do your front kick combination, Miss Warsey, I want you to look, front kick, look, side kick. <laughs> I can't do it slow. Front kick, side kick, put it down in the back in a front stance. I want you to practice that combination every day until the next class. When you land in your front stance, back hand is gonna do a reverse upward punch, a reverse downward vertical punch, excuse me. Your right hand, I'm gonna switch. Here. Yes. Front okay. kick. Front. Side. Side. Put it down Front. in the back. Front. And then high vertical punch. Good. And then you're going to take your back leg, step towards me, and punch. Back stance. And this is your next key off. Hey hey now, knife hand strike high. Good. Excellent. Both sides of the body 10 times. The whole, we just did just that line. Okay. When you do it the next time, you're gonna be. Yep. So five, 10 times this way, 10 times that way. Yeah. I want you to do that both sides of the body. What do you not? No, don't knife hand with that hand. When you punch. Oh. Punch, back, knife hand. Same hand. Punch, knife hand. 
Nope, front hand, punt. So it's a, you're back, you're here, and you've gone pop, pop, switch your feet. Now, low vertical, high vertical punch. Take the back foot, step and punch. And then knife hand. Good. Okay, got it. Do that, both sides of the body, 10 times. Hi, Mom. Oh, How are you? Okay, I've been here. I know. I want you to work, on, I just haven't seen you in a while. I want you to work on your hand techniques only today. So here's what I need you to understand. First degree form, you cannot cross your hands at any time except for pop, pop, and pop, mm -hmm. pop, okay? Um, Everything else has to be single hand technique. So when you come into your first line, I'm gonna do it opposite so you can see me. First line, this has to start chambering before this hits. This has to start chambering before this hits. This has to pull back before the punch and the punch has to rechamber before that punch. So I want you to work on just the hand techniques going slow and starting your rechamber before you do your next strike. Because you can't go like this. That's not allowed. Okay, so here, start this one, pop, start this one, pop, start this one, punch, start this one, punch, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Whole form, hand techniques, just like that. So when you're here, you'll just turn, because this is the base for the chop, then you'll pull both hands back, turn and punch, see, that, see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, work the whole form, just like that. Okay. Don't worry about your feet right now. Um, other foot. Uh, I, I'm oh, you're doing the other side. Sorry. Here. Here. Good. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I keep forcing my first punch, either the low one or this one, a little higher. So, then I, so. so when you're here, here, yeah. here. Here. Yeah. This punch is midsection, so it's gotta just be a little bit lower than I your feel shoulder. Like I'm just, yeah. Should your vertical should be yeah, like that. And I know my low vertical I've been shifting a little too high. Don't do that. I will work on it. <laughs> it actually it's easier to land when you do it lower, I think. It is absolutely okay. 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 For sure. Don't do that. Um, now, um, that was a front stand. So go back and do that. The kicks again, or? Because uh -huh. I find that if you go from one movement into the other, the muscle memory is a little bit more solid. Was it supposed to be a front stance or I was doing, okay. So it's supposed to be a front stance. You put it down in a front stance and then you turn and sat in it. Okay, so it's supposed to be a front stance. I was screwing myself up, I think I was, okay. So when you turn, you're here in a back stance. Yes. Then it's pop, pop. Front stance. Okay. Front stance still. And then back stance again. Okay. That probably makes it more sense. I think I was forcing myself to land funny. Okay. That's good, Maham. I felt like it was off. No. Do it again. Let me see the whole thing. That's okay. Now I'm watching you, so it's going to be like. Good. Your first chamber needs to be upside down. Or your very first chamber. So you're here. Mm -hmm. When you pull this hand back, it's got to pull upside down. Here. And then here. Because remember, a palm heel is an upside down chamber. Okay. That rotation is what gives you your power. Yes. Pull the left. Yes. Good. Start your chamber a fraction of a second before you do the next strike. Okay. They end at the same time? Yes, better. Yes, better. Thank you. You're welcome. You like 
I've been washing the whole pool, like, <laughs> except for the mirrors, because I get up. Oh, mirrors, yeah. I mean, we've got, the, the kids are just like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, I'm constantly going around my house going, oh my gosh, that's so gross. And I right. honestly, I, ju I, just, I have to give up something and I'd rather the things that people touch regularly oh, be clean. Right. Wow. No, and your base hand, Miss Worsey, is gonna go like this. Here, it's gonna stay here. So this hand won't react. So you punch. Okay, so here's the other side. Go for it. Here. Good. Yes, make sure your knife hand is high to the face. Oh, okay. Other well, than that, um, it looks perfect. Your, your um, base on your kicks was much better on that side. Yeah. Outer, here's the other side. Mom, you're going to get kicked. Outer form. Yes, good. Outer form. Up. Whoa. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Land in the back. Your kicking leg needs to be in the back. Oh. So when you do your front kick, side kick, you put it down in the back. Here. And then it's punch. Yep. Very good. Smash it. Yes, ma'am. How do I do the nine block? So the nine block is a, it, both hands are a part of that block. So they can cross. Okay. Any technique that involves both hands blocking, like pop, pop, and <laughs> here, and nine block, you can cross. Okay. Because both hands are involved in the technique. Right. Everything else is single hand. When you do your re when you reinforce and then you're going to upset, it's only one hand doing the upset punch. So that's why it has to be single motion. Pull this one back, upset. Pull this right. one back, palm heel. Pull this one back, punch. Pull it back, punch. Okay? Right. That's the same for second and third degree too. Good. And time! All right. You're going to burn it out with something, <laughs> something, something, something. Now this form doesn't seem so complicated. I want yeah. you to do five outer crescent kicks, one, two, and three on both sides. No, here's what I want you to do. I want you to do heels up and punch at the same time for a minute. Ready, go. It's super awkward. Yeah. I find myself wanting to go. <laughs> you can do that. It's just hard. <laughs> You're 20 seconds in. Keep going. You should do it too, Landon. Oh, look at him shrug his hands. He's like, eh, whatever. You're still full. You're still full? I can't pull. Uh, we'll see what we can do. That's a good point. Right. Totally making you do these in class later. Can you do them? Can you do them? You can make the class do two minutes because Landon wouldn't do them now. Yep. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> says no to me, Landon. <laughs> Last time Hayden said no to me, he had to do 100 push ups. <laughs> He has never said no since. Didn't take much to break. I don't think my lunch is coming. Yeah, he's really here early. Yeah, he's mom is always early. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am like burping. Turn it. <laughs> It is awful. <laughs> what a day to have a little indigestion. Yeah. Yeah. And time. <laughs> it's around a minute. It's a, it's a, it's an Ashley minute. <laughs> it really wasn't that much longer. It was only a minute and a half. That's because it's so longer. 
Cheer up! Kanye! Awesome job, everybody!